So what is a partial replacement? Uh, a partial replacement means part of the knee will be replaced. Um, we divide the knee into uh, three different compartments. One is the inner half compartment, which is this side, or the outer half of the compartment is called the lateral, which is this side, which is in this model is not replaced. And the patella, the femoral compartment, which is this area where the kneecap articulates with the distal part of your thigh bone. So in this model, we have a bicompartmental uh, replacement, which also represent a partial replacement. So the difference between a total replacement and a partial replacement is that your cruciate ligaments are intact. In a total replacement, one cruciate ligament only will be intact or both cruciate, cruciate ligaments are sacrificed. So a lot of people will say, well, what is the difference to me? Well, the difference to the patients that qualify for a partial is it's a faster recovery, it's a same day surgery, uh, a lot less rehabilitation required and a less pain. But there is only 15% or so of patients would qualify for this. So if a patient requires to have a total and you do a partial on, they will be very dissatisfied with the result. And the opposite hand, if you pick the right patient for a partial, it becomes really an ace in a hole for them. They really like it, they do very well. Two things will uh, make a partial fail. One is you have a wrong diagnosis, meaning you give a partial to someone who needs a total, so that will make it fail. And a secondly, if your technique is very um, inaccurate, that will lead to the partial to fail. And that um, is easily solved by using a, uh, using a robotic partial knee replacement, which is called the Mako Arthroplasty, which we use here in Medford in um, uh, Providence Hospital. So if I look at the medial uh, partial, I will just take this apart for a bit. This is uh, an area where we shave just the cartilage, a very thin part of the bone and the cartilage that will shave to match this component and the profile of this component, they also have those little pegs or feet that will anchor it right into the bone and it will put it in there. At the other side, in the uh, tibial side, what we do, again, we shave about maybe two to three millimeters out of the uh, bone and we make it flat to match the flat part of this implant that has a plastic sandwich on it and then we cement it right in place, and that provides the articulation. It's even easier when you look at the patellofemoral uh, joint. It also does the same thing, takes about two or three millimeters of the bone. It allows for these, uh, excuse me, three pegs to be matched to the component. Um, and then we put a plastic dome on the back of the kneecap or the patella, and that articulates. I also mentioned that in a case of any partial replacement, it is crucial that the anterior cruciate ligament for that patient to be intact. Unfortunately, for patients that loses their anterior cruciate ligament, they do not qualify for a partial replacement. There are very, very special situations where a patient will get a reconstruction of their anterior cruciate ligament to have a partial re replacement on a two separate uh, surgeries, and we can talk about that later.